right, so we're back in business, baby. We're, uh, I'm gonna show you a lot more how I prep things in this one. Usually I cut through a lot, but this one I'll show you like the whole process. And for this, uh, this is what we're working on. So this is like a JDC style thing that I always do, but I put a bee in the center instead of a hole. So I wipe off all the kiln dust. Always remember to do that. It'll, fuck, you'll ruin a whole piece if you don't do that. So get started. And, um, oh yeah, I erased all the footage for the first one, but you do the same exact thing to each side, it's like a mirror, so you're not missing nothing. So whenever I pop a hole here, I uh, pick away a little bit of glass on the bottom, so that whenever you make the straight seal, it doesn't want to kink up. Oh, sometimes you can get it too thick and then it'll just make it look kind of ugly. So I'll pick away a little bit of glass on the bottom, use my reamer, the uh, brass reamer, and yeah, then you're ready for the trade seal now. And uh, I've done this a bunch of other ways, but this is how I do it now. So I don't know, here we go. So I got a straight seal and I'm gonna use a 9.5 mil because I'm gonna blow it out and like form it to however the hell I want it to look. And you see the perfect straight seal right there. Connect and uh, have one, you wanna blow in air into the connection or whatever because you don't want that seal to uh, break. You put heat back in it. Right, I drew a little diagram for the bend. All right, so whenever I bend it, I get a nice soft flame, and I heat up that beginning part, like the top part of the flame, or the arm, and I want that part to bend first. And whenever I get the, the glass that's feeling loose, then uh, I'll move on to the second part of it. But yeah, it's working nice and slow. And this part does, I've used the second stage flame, it works faster, but I've figured out like, I don't know, just doing it slow like this works a lot easier. And now when the first starts bending, I'm gonna move on the heat base to this part of it. And then whenever you get it all hot at one unison thing, you wanna do that nice rainbow bend. And then make sure it's still hot whenever you take off this bottom part so you don't want that base to crack, but then pick off however much glass you want to, uh, I don't know, however you want it to be long. Just don't pick away too much glass, because adding it is a really pain right here. Make sure you just heat up both sides. Pick it away. And blow out a nice little, like, a uh, nice little even bubble at the end, like a blank, you would on a blank. And now, I, uh, while it's still hot, go in and fix up that straight seal. And I start off at the bottom, you can do whatever you feel like, but I just quarter it like a would do ring seal. So start at the bottom, make sure that seal is not, because that's where it always is going to get the weirdest. Because when you bend it, I don't know, it gets kinked up right there. So you want to get heat in that spot, puff it out. Then work on the sides. Puff. And this part's pretty important. The reason I do this part first, like up top, you just want the crack. So get to make sure this part's hot. A little fast motion. And it'll move around on you too, so make sure you uh, just don't let it get out of whack before you do the Jesus seal. Then just go back in that annealing flame. Keep it hot. And now you're gonna go in for the Jesus seal. Now for the Jesus seal, is a little drawing up there. Is the, wherever you in the glass side, is, or connect the Jesus seal, is how you're gonna have like a lot, is gonna make your shape. So what I do is this. I, I put enough glass where it's right above it, and the other way is right on the side. I used to do the side thing, but I think it looks a little aesthetically better, the one on the right. If you wanna do the one on the side, you're gonna wanna erase, like pull away the glass right there, so you connect it straight to the side of the can. All right, so here's the Jesus seal. This is the part that, it's not the most important part to this, but this part you want to, you want to nail it right. So I don't want to blow it. I want it the most smallest Jesus seal possible, so I can control how big I can make the bottom inlet, or not inlet, the outlet. Yeah, Jesus seal. Uh, I got a video on those, but if you had never done it before, they're they're fun. And then I just go around and round. And I think it popped already in the membrane. So now I'm just evening out the glass. And like I said, there's a lot of other ways you can do this. You can like preform the side arms and then attach them that way. I've seen people try and do that. Well, not try, they've seen people do that. 
But I like doing this way. Alright, so now, right now, the arms are ugly, sort of. They're connected, but you want to dress them up a little bit to make them, uh, like, aesthetically pleasing now. Like, I used to just do this, and that was it. But now, I'll show you my little secret to, uh, like, using gravity and heat to form it how you want it to look. And which is really nice, too, because then when you do that, you can, uh, you can get away with mistakes. Like, if something's not even, like the bend or whatever, you can just heat up to your own gravity and puff it out to whatever diameter you want. But for anything, you want to nail it the first try. So now that I got my, uh, whatever, the Jesus seal and all that shit done, I'm going to do the inlet where the drain is going to be. Now this part's important because you don't want it to be too big or else you get a big air pocket there. And if it's too small, it won't let any water in. But that's all just practice. Like, just keep fucking around with it and you'll figure out what's best. So now whenever I, uh, no, I'm, just, I'm just getting this to look right. So this top inlet, I'm going to make puff this out as big as I think that the whole arm will be, like millimeter wise or whatever. And see right there, that bottom part where I was like doing it, that's, that's where if it gets kinked up there, it can make for an ugly like seal. It'll be a big thick piece of glass there. Yeah, right, now here's the flame gravity, using it to like bend the glass to however you want it. Now, uh, I do this like the same way we I just showed you how to bend the glass before, how I use, I kind of quarter it and what halves. So right now I'm using the the heat to get the top part of the arm, and I'm gonna use, uh, I'm just gonna let it kind of drag down, like get a loop. See that? Use like gravity to hold it towards me, make sure it doesn't get crazy, cause that, you want it to be hot, like, fluid hot glass so the one you puff in that heat and you get like a puff or two or whatever it's all equal but it's practice because I used to do I did this I tried this in the beginning and I was like that's a nightmare just try and get it perfect the very first shot but this way if you want to I like doing it this way using the gravity and all this shit to make it how you want it to look and you can control the swing of the arm too Alright, so still just doing this. See how it's kind of looking a little cleaner? It's got a little more swing to it, more form. Now the inside part, like the inside of this arm area, that is a hard area to catch with the flame, so make sure you're not missing that inside. Because a lot of times you can get the outside part hot, then puff it out and the inside stays kind of straight, not like that nice loop that you want. And the uh, kneeling flame. What I'm doing right here, what am I doing? Alright, now I'm working the bottom part of the the arm. I just did the top swing -ish, or swingish part of it. Now I'm working like the middle ish. Middle ish? Jesus Christ, you're like. I'm moving the middle part of it to the bottom. And right there, I see I'm using the inside. Or can make sure I'm getting the very inside of that arm. And then you want to wait for the perfect heat whenever you puff. But you'll see it, and it will just, it all just equals out. I don't know why it just equals out to the same diameter if you get it the right heat. Or soak in the right heat. So yeah, it's getting squirrely there. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. You get it hot, switch the other side, get it hot, switch the other side. Or else you'll just get a, some zong action looking thing. Boom, see how I puffed it out there and it all equaled up? So now the outlet of the drain I'm gonna work, the very last part. Just cleaning it up really. And uh, this, I like using the outlet to clean it up with the big flame, the torch, because it kinda, I don't know, it makes it more uniform, I feel like. So now that's all equal, like the same diameter and kinda got the same swing on me, I'm gonna, swing on me, the swing swing. I'm gonna make it, uh, just try to exaggerate it a little bit more. Yeah, it takes a while, but the rewarding part about this is, I don't know, a lot of times you can't bend the glass to how you're going to form it like this. It's pretty fucking hard. But, let's keep working at it. And I think here, alright, yeah, alright, so now I switch sides, working on the other uh, arm. I don't know, I just finished one side. Alright, so now I finished one arm. So now you know what it looks like. 
to the left one's a little more uniform. And the undone one is kind of not as uniform. Yeah. So let's go, uh, let's go even that out. All right, so now we're wiping off back to where we're at. And uh, I showed you how to do that part, so now you're just doing the same thing. You're gonna get a, I don't know, you saw what to do. So you're just gonna mimic the same thing you do the other side. Get that inlet part good, outlet part even better. And now we're working on to the, the bend. You're gonna work on the top. And you'll see here, they don't end up being exactly equal. So I gotta go back and make them even more equal. Or I gotta go back on one side that isn't as swung out. Or oh, I forgot which one, or the, song that, the side that is swung out more. But I make them more equal. And you'll see how I use a flame to do that. Right, so you're going in. So using your, uh... Yeah, see the, the inside area is really where you want to focus on, but... Yeah, you know what you're doing, I'll just explain this part. Just keep doing it, you're just mirroring the same side. And you really want to make it symmetrical, but sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Like right here, it's not the most symmetrical, but I'll make the, I'll make it work. Oh, gravity. And like I said, I, I quarter it, I work the top from the inlet down the bottom, or the inlet, then the top quarter of the arm, middle-ish, bottom, and then I work the outlet last. It's all in little stages. I right, see now, just looking at what I'm doing. I'm really trying to focus on, I'm noticing one arm is out more than the other, I'm kind of freaking out <laughs> in the video because I'm not recording this, but we can make it work. And at the end of the video I have like a, I have a function of this too, so if you want to see it work also, you just skip to the fucking end right now if you really want to, you can see a dab video and come right back here, but I'm going to show you how this thing works also, not just uh, give you the visual or the how-to's. Ooh, I got a little crazy there, but gravity is your friend in glass. You gotta really figure out, it's pretty much blowing glass is just you dancing with gravity. And using like your hand balance and all hand eye coordination and shit. But it's really just a little dance of gravity. Alright, so now I got the right swing that I want. I'm pretty sure I'm about to go in on this other side. Oh, God damn it, so work on this. Alright, sorry, this little video is a little bit wrong. See, I'm gonna this is a little longer, like I'm kind of showing you every single step, step by step. Is this better or should I I'm kind of make quick how to's? Or do you just want to see the whole thing like this? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, I don't know. Alright, fucking camera died. Where are we at? Oh, shaping the other side. Alright, so... I honestly don't remember where I was. <laughs> I guess we're shaping the other side. Same deal as the other one, I guess? Oh no, we're, we're, mad, we're making it mad. Alright, this is what we're doing. Alright, so now I did both sides where they're equal diameter and they're swung out. So now I gotta make this one match the other. Alright, same deal. I right, see how they're getting a little better now. And uh, here I'm using the, a lot of the inside part because I want that, that's how it's super looped out. I want it to kind of fall in a little bit. 
Oh no, I'm retarded. I fucking. That is the opposite. I use the side that was sucked in more, and I'm making it angle out more. So I'm heating up the very top part, and I'm making that loop out. Using a little hand hand torch assist right there. Now that they're both pretty symmetrical, even up the whatever isn't even. Give it that puff. And then it all looks pretty good from here. Just uh, right, I'm gonna make it all match. Now this part I forgot the, uh, I'm just dressing up the inside layer because it's the part, like I said, it always doesn't get the most love from the heat. And finish off in the little outlet of the drain. Keep flaming. And there you go, pretty damn equal. Give it some more torch love. the last little final measurement to make it symmetrical or whatever so you can do that <laughs> it takes a lot more time but to me it looks more better aesthetically or you can pull them to the exact diameter you want and bend them once Jesus seal but I like this I don't know I've been doing this lately and you can really choose what diameter you want also which is kind of nice but yeah just keep going trying to make it more matchy Um, there you go, and I'll show you some glamour shots and me dabbing it, and thanks for watching.